please feel free to share with us in the comment section of this live stream. Also if this is your first time, please visit our website www.joyoverflow.church to fill a prayer request card and share your contact information so that our prayer ministers can follow up with you. Please like and follow our Facebook page at Joy Overflow. place of the Most High, I shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in Him will I trust. Surely, He shall deliver me from the snare of the fowler, and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover me with His feathers, and under His wings shall I trust. His truth shall be my shield and buckler. I shall not be afraid for the terror by night nor for the arrow that fleeth by day, nor for the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor for the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand shall fall at my side, and ten thousand at my right hand, but it shall not come nigh me. Only with my eyes shall I behold and see the wicked rewarded. Because I have made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, my habitation, there shall no evil befall me, neither shall any plague come nigh my dwelling. For God shall give his angels charge over me, to keep me in all my ways. They shall bear me up in their hands, lest I dash my foot against a stone. I shall tread upon the lion and adder. The young lion and the dragon shall I trample under feet. Because I have set my love upon God, therefore will he deliver me, he will set me on high because I have known his name. I shall call upon him, and he will answer me. He will be with me in trouble, he will deliver me and honor me. With long life will God satisfy me and show me his salvation. So shall it be for me and my household today and forever. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. You all are looking so beautiful and radiant this morning. Glory. Hallelujah. Blessed be God. If you have any testimonies, because I know that God is good, please just go over to the side there and see our brother over there. He will take your testimonies and take your names. Hallelujah. The Lamb that sits upon the throne, He alone is worthy to take the scroll and open the seal. He alone is worthy. He is high and lifted up. He's exalted above all principalities and powers. He is the ancient of days. He is the worthy Lamb of God. Forever you will be The Lamb upon the throne And I gladly bow my knees To worship you alone forever you will be forever you will be you're the lamb upon the throne I am exalted one the lamb upon the
our Lord to be red. Hey. Hallelujah. Blessed be God. There is no other God like our God. Hallelujah.
accelerated results this year. Thank you, Jesus, for our covenant liftings in Jesus' name. You may please be seated. Amen. By the grace of God, we have one testifier to God's goodness this morning. And join me in welcoming our brother, Brother Iden, as he gives his testimony to the glory of God. Amen. Amen. You have two minutes, sir. Hallelujah. The Lord is good. All the time. Uh, I really want to thank God for this uh, grace of patience and opportunity for me to also speak my dialect. Because uh, since the session of this program, this is my first day of being a partaker of it. Praise the Lord. 
Hallelujah. Uh, before my testimony, I just want to have a song in my in Italian language. I was born in Nigeria, but raised in Italy. Dio è buono, 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 è buono per me. Osama be, Osama be, Osama be. Osama be, Osama be, Osama be, Osama be, 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 be. God is good, good. My Lord is good. Lord is good. My Lord is good. My Lord is good. My Lord is good. Is good to be. Those are my three languages. Praise the Lord. Uh, I just want to thank God for the great job he's doing in my family. Uh, I think early this month, I was having two jobs opportunity. One from right there. Immediately I succeeded in the orientation. They sent me online courses and all those stuff. As I was doing that, a call came from one here in, in Calgary. Oh, can you please just have this job? Come and take this opportunity. I said, I'm just, I've uh, just got an offer from Red right here. He said, How much? He said, Whatever they offer me there, they will add $2 to it. Praise Master Jesus. By the special grace of God, I'm now working in Calgary. That is why you always see me here almost every Sunday. The Lord is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good. We thank the Lord for the opportunities. Amen. Um, I've been asked to give room for those who also want to give testimonies. So if you are interested in sharing the testimony with people of God, please, you can come this way. And you have one minute each to please tell us your name and what exactly God has done for you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Good morning, church. I'm standing here today to thank God for Your all name, that is. Oh, I'm sorry, my name is Christiana Akpan. I'm standing here today to thank God for all that He's done for me and my family, both uh, nuclear and extended. Um, I'm grateful to God. He started on a wrong note. Um, on the eighth, I lost a very dear friend, but that does not uh, matter. I'm here to thank God. But on the 20th, my daughter turned nine. On the 26th, my elder sister was 59. On 27, we had a pastor's birthday. And on 28, my niece uh, also had a birthday. Today, I have another niece that uh, is having a birthday. And I thank God for all that he's done. Most uh, particular is my daughter when in 2012, when I was about to have a, we've been scheduled for a, C, a CS, and we went there. I've been lying on the hospital bed from morning till night, and the doctor came and said, um, we don't have uh, blood something. Your blood doesn't match with anyone in Calgary. They have to bring it in from another um, city, and I was like, what is happening that, uh, so we were sent home, and um, before then, during that uh, third trimester, there was, uh, I woke up one morning and I found a mark on my body, and I was wondering, I was in Nigeria, I didn't see such thing, and coming to Canada, I experienced that. So, God delivered me from every oppression of the wicked one. And um, my daughter, the, uh, the, the hospital called us on, um, on Sunday. We went there and had her. Even after I had her, she was, she was healthy. And then something started happening. Everything 
her health changed and um, I remember there was a time I brought her to pastor uh, to pray for her and I'm standing here today to lift up the name of the almighty God that she is free. There is no frequent visiting of hospital. I give God the glory for all that he has done. To him be all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Um, amen. Please, your name and what God has done for you. Please come. In one minute, please. Good morning, church. Good morning. My name is Claudette. Um, I'm standing here today with my miracle. Ah! Glory! Yeah, it all started sometime in 2019, February. I got pregnant and after a week, I, mis um, I, I got miscarriage and my husband became a bit worried. And we went to the hospital, we did all the tests and there was nothing wrong. So the doctor just told us to keep praying and have faith that will, one day will happen and in I think sometime around early August we started praying so hard then I had a dream 4 a.m. in the morning um, an angel came to me in the face of my mother and she said read Psalms 113 and in the morning I told my husband before we prayed so he started reading that Psalms so when he was reading it they said the Psalms keep saying that, thank God, praise him for what he has done for you. Exalt his name. So my husband said, I think God has already done it for us. He just wants us to praise him. But the two, the two, um, the last two lines of that Psalms, that is where we knew God was talking directly to us. He says, I will visit a childless wife in her home. I will make her happy by giving her children. So my husband screamed and I screamed. So that is how I got pregnant. I don't know how, I don't know when. And I got pregnant. So when I got pregnant, the devil said, this child will not stand. I think a few days when I got pregnant, a pastor saw me and said, you are carrying a baby girl, but the devil will fight you so hard. You have to pray. And three months when I was pregnant, rumors started going on in Calgary that I cannot carry a child. My husband cannot, give, like, cannot impregnate me. But when the person was telling me I was three months pregnant already, God already did it for me. So, Amen. as time went on, through this pregnancy, I had three heavy miscarriages. Three heavy. I went to the emergency three times. I stayed in the hospital two weeks before she came. And on a fateful day, we just went for a checkup. And everything was fine. The doctor told me the baby is growing well. Everything is fine. Let me just check your service. And the doctor said, hey, you have to go to Foothill Hospital immediately. You have a short service. So... I went to Footy Hospital, they did all what they could, and they said, no, it's nothing really bad, go home. And a week later, I went again for a checkup, and they said, oh, we can feel the baby's leg or head, it's not normal, you have to go to Footy. So they wrote me off work, they wrote me off school. So I started staying in Footy Hospital. So that was my new home. And we were just praying, because it was 23 weeks then, so we were just praying and begging God to take it maybe to even 24 weeks or 25 weeks. But God took it to 26 weeks. And she came. Normally, I had normal bed. And before, that, before she came, the doctor told me and my husband, um, don't expect her to cry or don't expect her to open her eyes because she's extremely tiny. But what God did... Immediately, I pushed her out. She opened her eyes and looked at everybody. And they, there were five doctors in that room. All of them screamed. And when they took her to the bed, when they, were, when they were trying to prepare her to take her to NICU, she cried. And the doctor screamed again. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. And Praise the Lord. I want to say she beat all medical odds. The doctor told us that this kind of medical condition can happen and this kind can happen but all her days in NICU, she was supposed to stay in NICU for three months, she only stayed in NICU for two and a half months and all her days in NICU, there was no loss, there was no shame, there was no pain to Hallelujah. Praise, the to Lord. The Praise the Lord, praise the Lord Hallelujah, Amen We thank the Lord for the gifts of the baby, Amen 
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I said, the Lord that does it for me has done it again. He that does it for me has done it again and again. Praise the Lord. I just came back from the States. My children called me and they said, Mom, this year, because every year we, I started us having a family reunion. And uh, this year they say, Mom, we don't want you there. We just want siblings. I said, why? They said, that's how we want it. But I just want you to come and babysit. So, so, so they bought me a flight ticket just to go and babysit the children while they go and have fun by themselves. Praise the Lord. And everything went so perfectly. Every one of them come from all walks of town. From Lincoln, Nebraska, from Florida, uh, the ones in Canada here went with me, and the one in uh, Kansas City, they all gathered together in one place. They just go to, went to Airbnb and rented a big place. And it was almost 13 of them that come from this womb. Praise the Lord. And they all gathered together and they had fun. Amen. And the surprising thing was that I didn't know what they were doing. My grandson had, uh, my second grandson, of course, had got married. Married, married just a much, you know, little family. They didn't tell me because of uh, his situation, because he's, uh, he's studying to be a doctor in the army. But the requirement was that you have to be married. So he quickly married. So they surprised me and they throw a big party for him in that gathering. And I just want to stand here and thank God. I just look at myself. And that guy, I'm telling you, that got married is a medical doctor right now. And the second, the last one, is about to be a medical doctor. And he's not here to be a medical doctor. Look at me. And I got a lawyer in my family. I got a medical doctor in my family. I got a physician in my family. I got a pharmacist in my family. Hallelujah. Because, has, has, because his wife is a pharmacist. Amen. Look at me. Look at, take a look at me. Who can Hallelujah. believe? Who can believe? Who can believe? God, I give you praise. Praise the in Lord. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. We thank God. Please come on. Hallelujah. Please, let's be very brief. This service is a fairly long service. Let's do it quickly and well. God bless you. Your name and what God has done for you, man, in one minute. Hey, Hallelujah. Hey. Hallelujah. Your name I'm and what God has done for you. Talk about the goodness of God. I am Mama Mata from Cameroon. Yeah, I just <laughs> okay. I'm here to tell you the God we are serving. He is a living God. We cannot measure him. Yes, because my eyes have seen his goodness, his mercies, his compassion upon my life. Well, Pastor has just said we should be brief, so I'll be very brief. I used to be here. I went back home. And when I went home, as God would have it, just exactly one week later, my mom died. As if I knew, I did not know. People were asking me, how did you know? How did you know? Why are you here? As if I knew. And when she died, all of us know what is happening now in our own part of, Cam uh, of Cameroon. You have uh, the Amber boys, as they popularly call them, the boys in the bushes. <laughs> in quotes, and the military. So, the question was, how am I going to bury my mom? In short, to cut a long story short, God preserved us. Amen. God preserved us. Amen. We were lying like this, they were shooting guns, but no gun touched any of us. Amen. In fact, those who have been there know what I am talking about. And when we were coming back, those gunmen, they were there like that, pointing guns. But as God would have it, 
nothing. No bullet touched any of us. Amen. And today I am here to talk about the greatness and the preservation of God. I just want us to thank God for taking me to Cameroon and bringing me back here safely in Jesus' mighty name. Praise the Lord. We thank God for protection and safety. Amen. Praise the Lord. Mama Philomena, you have one minute, man. Don't worry. I'll yes, be less than that. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, my name is Philomena. I just want to thank the Lord for adding another year to my youngest daughter. She turned 25, uh, August 19th. So I just want to thank the Lord. I want to glorify him. Praise I want to the thank Lord. the Lord for the new school year. Thank God for preserving us. Thank God for, for preserving my children. I just want to glorify God. And Mama Choma, I recognize with you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Ma. Dick Nezola, you have one minute, ma, please. Amen. Praise the Lord. I just want to glorify God to this morning. And we serve a God who answers prayers the way he wants to. He's a faithful God. The way he chooses his God. You can't box him. You can't tell him this is how you do it. You pray to God, he answered it in his own way. And he always glorifies himself. I want to bless this God this morning. A um, couple of weeks ago, I was told that I would be having a surgery and I would need like four weeks to recover. To me, I was not even thinking of the surgery. I was just thinking like, I don't have four weeks to lie down. I'm too busy. I went to pastor. I said, pastor, I can't sleep down for four weeks. So I prayed to God. I used anointing oil. I did everything. I was expecting it. You know, somebody told me, when you go to the washroom, it will just drop. I would go to the washroom, I would expect it to drop. It did not drop. It kept me there. I was praying to God. I was believing God. God, you answer it in your way. When I was going to the surgery room eventually, I would say, God, glorify yourself. I don't know how. My song then was, all I want is for you, for you to be glorified. For you to be lifted I, I said, God, just glorify yourself. I went there. I've never been in full anesthetic. You know, never. Never had CS or anything. So I got there, believing God. When it was over, I was asking them, Have you, are you done? Amen. And I don't know where God gave me the strength from. Three days ago, I'm here dancing. I said, this is how you, Lord, want to glorify yourself. I was not in church on Wednesday. I was not on Friday. That is not me. I want to bless God for the strength. I even had to go to work yesterday. I don't know how, but I want to bless God. The Amen. Lord is still glorified. Amen. I want to give him all the praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. While you are seated, I need you to raise your hand and just worship God. Thank him for his faithfulness. Thank him for his loving kindness, for sparing lives, for protection. Thank him for healing, for recoveries. Thank him for his goodness. Lord, we exalt you. You are the doer of all these, O Lord Jesus. We return all glory and praise to you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Greater things, Lord, our eyes shall see in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our next service is our Bible study, communion service on Wednesday. It is a time to study God's word and ask questions. We shall be commencing a new Bible study on the parables of Jesus. Do not miss the opportunity to learn at Jesus' feet. Note that it is also a day to wait upon God in fasting and prayer and break our fast with the communion. The time is 6.30 p.m. to 8 p.m. Are you looking for your own company that will join you in prayers just like the Apostles did in Act 4.23, KJV, and being let go, they went to their own company, and reported all that the chief priests and elders had said unto them, then join a daily prayer chain that meets on the church prayer conference line 587-400-8496 from 7pm to 8pm on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday or Friday. Be a part of our daily devotional titled, Power to Triumph. It runs from 6 a.m. to 6.30 a.m. from Monday to Friday on Sunny Adeni Ministries channel on YouTube and Facebook. We shall be taking the communion daily and pushing hard against the devil's agenda in this period. 
Do not miss your opportunity to live triumphantly. Remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel, click on the notification bell and like and follow Sunny Adeni Ministries on Facebook as well. Next Sunday at Joy Overflow is our Communion Sunday worship service. It's the first Sunday in the new month, when we partake of the flesh and blood of Jesus and receive strength to go all the way victorious in the month. The service runs from 9.30 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. Our Souls Harvest operation is on, and has been extended to September 30, 2021. Have you won any souls since the operation began? We are all expected to be a part of this highly rewarding venture of seeing at least 12 souls saved each and added to the Kingdom through Joy Overflow International Church throughout this season. Join your daily prayer chain and general evangelism groups to do this task for Jesus. Please note that your personal harvest results from your kingdom harvest after the order of Matthew 6.33. God bless you as you take advantage of this opportunity for your maximum reward. Our next membership, Covenant Foundation class will hold on Monday, September 13. All new members are requested to attend this class, which shall hold in person at the church premises from 6.30 p.m. to 9 p.m. after which membership certificates shall be issued. Those who are expected to attend will get email and WhatsApp notification. Our next water baptism will also hold on Tuesday, September 14 at 6.30 p.m. According to Mar 16.16, KJV, he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. It is an opportunity for those who have never been water baptized or those who want to do it again to do so. Our next quarterly leaders meeting will hold on Sunday, September 12 at 6 p.m. in the church premises. All unit leaders are expected to submit their unit reports for collation latest by Friday, September 10. Our Children Church will commence operation on Sunday, September 19, 2021 with all three classes. All Children Church teachers are hereby informed of a planning meeting on Sunday, September 5 immediately after the service. Our annual membership meeting will hold on Sunday, September 19, 2021 immediately after the service and will last for about one hour, light refreshments will be served. Please make plans to attend. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. I am set for accelerated results this year. Thank you, Jesus, for our covenant liftings in Jesus' name. Can we all say hallelujah in all of our languages? Praise the Lord. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Psalms 33 verse 12 says, Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord, the people who he has chosen for his own inheritance. God has been faithful to Joy Overflow International Church. He has blessed us with different countries of the world. And we have about 17 countries represented in Joy Overflow International Church across four continents. Can we praise the Lord for this? Amen. Amen. And we're going to be celebrating God, and we're going to be celebrating God according to our country continents and chosen languages today. Can all the representatives of all countries be on the side of the auditorium? Thank you very much. Can we all rise up, representatives of the countries, and let's come over to the side of the auditorium. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. And now we'll be calling on the first continent, and that is North America. Can all the representatives of North America come to the altar? Hallelujah. Amen. North America. <laughs> Amen. We have four countries for North America. Tadelsina, hallelujah, amen. Yeah. Hallelujah, please smile. The whole world is looking at you right now and they're wondering. <laughs> Man, hallelujah, amen. And for the beautiful country of St. Lucia, hallelujah, amen. St. Vincent, hallelujah. Jamaica, and Canada, amen. And North America will be presented.
presenting two songs to us in two languages. We'll have the English first, and then we have the Patwa. Please, can we have a microphone? Thank you. We're cleaning the microphones, please. test my singing debut <laughs> joy overflows in joy my heart joy overflows in my heart sing a new joy song to the lord. lord joy overflows in my heart <laughs> sing, oh. a song sing a new song to the lord i will I'll praise your, your name. name i will worship you <laughs> glory hallelujah sing a new song to the lord Joy overflowing on me heart, sing a new song to the Lord. Joy overflowing on me heart, sing a new song to the Lord. I will praise His name, I will worship you. Glory, hallelujah, sing a new song to the Lord. America, God bless you. Amen. So we're calling the next continent now. All right, to glorify the name of the Lord. And we are blessed to have the Asian continent. And we have the country, Sri Lanka. Amen. <laughs> Yes, Okay. Ready? Okay. Ready? Nan Jesu by Pugaluin, Nan Jesu by Pugaluin, Nan Jesu by Pugaluin, Nan Jesu by Pugaluin, and Katha became Magimai, Hallelujah to Jesus, and Katha became Magimai, Hallelujah to Jesus, Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Maggie, my you my care. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Maggie, my you my care. Jesu be under Jesu be racha her. Jesu be under Jesu be racha her. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I will be going to the next continent of the world, and that is Africa. Amen. Can all the representatives of Africa come on the stage? Amen. African representatives, can we go on the altar? Amen. Hallelujah. Country 
joie d'aborder dans mon cœur. La joie d'aborder dans mon cœur. La joie d'aborder dans mon cœur. Chante une nouvelle chanson au Seigneur. La joie d'aborder dans mon cœur. Chante une nouvelle chanson au Seigneur. Jokes must be spilled on my chirping. The dog now ye gives me the boy. Jokes must be spilled on my chirping. The dog now ye gives me the boy. Ah, shlovi sutada. Ah, shlovi sutada. Yes, my dear boy. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And we're going to be having our second language, and the song will be sung in Italian. Amen. 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 La gioia tu bambino mio cuore cantuna nuovo cane signore La gioia tu bambino mio cuore a canta nuovo cane signore La gioia Hallelujah. Amen. May God bless the European continent in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you all. God bless all the countries of the world. And we just just join our hearts. Can we all rise up as we celebrate God and we welcome our senior pastor to bless all nations represented in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Now we are going to do something very prophetic. I want all representatives of the nations to please line up from the start there up to the end there. All the flag carrying members or representatives of the nations, please line up from the start of the altar to the end. Everyone, and bring your flags with you. Never heart ever. Studio, if you can help me, Isaiah chapter 2 and verse 2. Isaiah chapter 2 and verse 2. Just line up, let's line up from the start. Up until the end, I'm a hot shop, a catalina, a hot day. 
Now you are wondering that I'm not representing any nation. I'm representing the globe. Hallelujah. And so, um, uh, studio, there is a picture I sent to you. That is how I will have dressed this morning. That's where my original nationality is from. If you can uh, help us show that picture very quickly of Mama and I in that traditional attire. Hallelujah. How do you like that? That's my original traditional attire. That's how I will address this morning. But by the Spirit of the Lord, I'm representing the globe, like I said. And I'm going to be placing my hand upon this globe and then be making some very powerful declarations this morning to the glory of God in Jesus' name. Thank you so much, studio. Now, Isaiah chapter 2, verse 2 says, It shall come to pass in the last days. Where are we right now? When are we right now in the timing of God? We are in the last days. And it says that the mountain of the Lord's house, Joy Overflow International Church, shall be established in the top of the mountains and shall be exalted above the hills and all nations. Everyone say all nations. All nations. Shout all nations. all nations. Shout all nations. All nations, all nations shall all flow nations. unto it. All nations shall flow unto it. So standing upon the authority of the word of God this morning, I'm going to be declaring over the nations that are here present. I'm going to be anointing the flags of this nation. I'm going to be prophesying to the nations and declaring peace and prosperity to all the nations that are represented here and to the nations that are not yet represented that we are calling for. I'm going to be placing my hand on the globe. I'm going to be anointing the globe and calling them forth wherever they are to begin to flow into the house of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Every one of us begin to pray in the spirit right now. Pray in the Holy Ghost. I anoint this nation. What's the name of the nation? Saint Vincent. Nanamana. Peace and prosperity in the name of Jesus. I anoint Italy, right? Peace and prosperity in the name of Jesus. I anoint Sri Lanka. Peace and prosperity in the name of Jesus. I anoint Angola. Peace and prosperity in the name of Jesus. I anoint Italy. Peace and prosperity in the name of Jesus. I anoint Lithuania. Peace and prosperity in the name of Jesus. I anoint Canada. Peace and prosperity in the name of Jesus. I anoint Cameroon. Peace and prosperity in the name of Jesus. I anoint Syria alone. Peace and prosperity in the name of Jesus. I anoint Nigeria. Peace and prosperity. In the name of Jesus, what's the name of the nation? I anoint St. Lucia, peace and prosperity. In the name of Jesus, I anoint Liberia, peace and prosperity. In the name of Jesus, I anoint Congo, peace and prosperity. In the name of Jesus, I anoint Ghana, peace and prosperity. In the name of Jesus, I anoint Jamaica, peace and prosperity. In the name of Jesus, I anoint Angola, peace and prosperity. In the name of Jesus, Anoint Kazakhstan, peace and prosperity in the name of Jesus. And according to Isaiah chapter 2, verse 2, Laya Takarada Bahato, Zozi Kate, Apalarada Kata, Nenda Nabara Patata, Aprekete Kata Zahate, Jakute Talabara. I prophesy to the nations of the world, according to Isaiah chapter 2, verse 2, it is written, The mountain of the Lord's house, joy overflow, international church. It's established in the top of the mountains and all nations, all nations, all nations from the north, from the south, from the east, from the west. I prophesy, find your place in the kingdom. Planted in joy overflow, celebration chapel in the name of Jesus. Find yourself in the kingdom, planted in the kingdom through joy overflow, international church, celebration chapel in the name of Jesus. Nakete Zahata. Rapekata, hear nations of the world, hear the voice of the Lord, hear the voice of the Lord, hear the voice of the Lord. Come, take your place 
the tulip gates are open unto you night and day to come into the kingdom and take the place reserved for you in the name of Jesus. We prophesy a new beginning. We prophesy open doors, open heaven over the nations of the world. We prophesy peace and prosperity and the power of God. Father, we thank you. <laughs> thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. You are the doer of it all. And thank you because you will be glorified. All the nations wide. Praise the Lord. Let us praise the very simple song. Praise the Lord. All the nations are. Praise the Lord. Let us praise Jehovah. Praise the Lord. All the nations are. Praise the Lord. Let us praise. Let's sing to the glory of God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. All the nations are. Uh, can you please let me welcome somebody sitting, standing by you. Say you are welcome to the presence of the Lord. Uh, please tell the person is looking gorgeous. I appreciate the person why you have your seat in the presence of the Lord. You can have your seat in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. I look at the faces. Oh boy. You guys are looking wonderful. The choir is having a number this morning, very simple one. We are singing hallelujah as well, just with everybody. We pray you are blessed as you listen in Jesus.
understands any language. He's awesome hearing different languages singing praises to God. Because he's the king of all nations. All nations. No nation on earth that the God is not king. That's why we sing. Is the most high. Is the most high. Yeah. nations wherever you came from it's owned by God he's the ruler over the nations of the earth let's lift up our hands celebrate his faithfulness and thank him for bringing us here this morning to this beautiful day to this awesome service we return all the glory we return all the honor to you the God of all nations be glorified be honored be adored thank you Lord Let's ask the Lord for a word. Send a word to me. Every time God wants to do something, He sends a word. Send a word to me. Let me take something away today that will be locked up in my spirit. In the name of Jesus, send a word. Lock up your word in my spirit this morning. Lock up your word in my spirit. Lock up your word. Send the word to me this morning that will be locked up in my spirit. I give you praise. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' precious name we are praying. Holy Spirit, we are here for you. Send the word our way. Lock up your word in our spirit. Do wonders. Heal, save, deliver, break yokes and bondages. Let your people be set at liberty. Let your name be glorified. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name, we are prayed. Holy Spirit, I step aside. Speak to your people the word you are prepared. In Jesus' precious name, amen. Shake hands with your neighbor if they dress so beautifully. Shake hands with them. Turn to another person. Shake hands with them. Tell them you look gorgeous this morning. You look beautiful. You look handsome. To God alone be all the glory. In Jesus' precious name. Please be comfortably seated. Let's all be comfortably seated. I'd like to welcome every one of us 
from all nations, from every continent, to church this morning. I believe God. This shall be your own encounter service. If you believe with me, say, this shall be my own encounter service in the name of Jesus Christ. And I want to also welcome the family of the Akams who will be dedicating their daughter as well as their son. And also welcome the family and well wishes for these two families, the Akams as well as uh, Brother Tabe Bison and Sister Claudette Asek and their friends and family who have joined them in church this morning to dedicate their daughter uh, as well. The Lord God of heaven will preserve those children. I said, the Lord God of heaven will preserve these children. Amen. They shall be great. Amen. The hand of the Almighty God will rest upon them. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. What a beautiful day to dedicate a child. What a beautiful day to dedicate a child when all nations are represented here. To God alone be all the glory. Now, brethren, I want to really encourage us. Uh, this service, don't be in a hurry to go home. A lot has been planned. There is food tasting, not food eating. <laughs> food tasting from continents around the globe. So all lined up in the uh, foyer. So after now, just take your time and then go around, taste the food and see how it tastes. And also, we'll be taking pictures from all. I love all the beautiful dresses I'm seeing this morning. I don't want to miss this opportunity. So to everyone who has dressed in their national attires, and all of us will be having group pictures around here immediately after the service. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Now, this morning, it's not uh, complete. We, when we have a beautiful service like this, it's not complete until we hear a word from heaven. How many need a word from heaven? I need a word. Say, I need a word. I need a word. God will be speaking to us. This morning, we've been talking about the supernatural. We've been talking about the supernatural. And do you know why you need to know about the supernatural? Because you, your original identity is a supernatural being. Your identity is, a, you, you are a spirit. Say, I'm a spirit. I'm a spirit. I have a soul and I'm locked up in this body. And it is this body that gives you the permission to stay here on earth. Ordinarily, you can't find anyone say, oh, that's the spirit of that man going. No, you can't see. Any such spirit is an evil spirit. <laughs> when a man dies, his soul, his spirit and his soul depart and then they go straight to where they should go, right or left. I won't say, I won't call it, so I won't scare anybody. But it is important that you know where your spirit is going when you depart, when the original you depart from this earth. So we've been talking about the supernatural and we've been looking at the various aspects of the supernatural. Now there is something I'm going to be sharing with us this morning which is a key into the supernatural. You know, nobody jokes with their key. When you're heading home, what do you do with your key? You make sure, where's my key? Where's my key? If you don't find your key, you won't move around. Is that right? Thank you so much. Let's put our hands for Brother Paul. There are so many people that make you look beautiful. Praise God. Now, when you don't find your key, the first question is, where is my key? Everything stop. Everybody stop right now. Where is my key? That is how important a key is. So this morning, we're going to be getting a key that will help us to always unlock the spiritual and the supernatural in our favor. Let me let you know that without the supernatural, every man is an ordinary man and he will die like an ordinary man. Psalm 82 verse 5 to 7 say, I, I have said, ye are gods, all of you, children of the most high. But they know not and so they die like ordinary men. Those who don't know their original status and identity die like ordinary men, but you will not die like that Amen. in the name of Jesus. So I'll be talking with us on a message I've titled, Only Believe. What? Only believe. Turn to your neighbor and say, Only believe. Only believe. Tell another person, Only believe. Only believe. Only believe. It's so important to know what you believe. 
it's so important to change your belief system and line in it up with the word of God. It's very important. Now, this statement came out of Mark chapter 5, verse 36. The Bible says, as soon as Jesus heard the word that was spoken, he said to the ruler of the synagogue, his name is Jairus, be not afraid, only believe. Let's say it together, be not afraid, only believe. Say it and convince yourself, be not afraid, only believe. Say it to yourself. Now, Sonny, be not afraid, only believe. Why would Jesus make this statement to a ruler of the synagogue called Jairus? Number one, let me give you a few background. Jairus was a ruler of the synagogue. He was not one of the disciples of Jesus. The rulers of the synagogue were the people that opposed Jesus the most. But a problem hit in the house of this man. His daughter was sick, almost dying. And so people came around to him and said, look, there is someone who can help you. His name is Jesus. Go for him. So he went after Jesus. The Bible says in Mark 5, 23, 24, he besought Jesus. He knelt at his feet and said, Jesus, there is a problem in my home. My daughter is dying. Please come with me and restore this daughter back to life. He besought Jesus and Jesus said, okay, let's go. And on the way, as they were going, there was a woman with the issue of blood who caused a delay. She said within herself, if I may but touch the hem of this man's garment. And so the whole process of the woman moving from the crowd, touching Jesus, and Jesus stopping to ask, who is the one that touched me because virtue just left me? So the whole process elongated the visit of Jesus to the house of Jairus. It elongated it. And so as they were going, it got to a point. So after they finished that scene, someone came from the house of Jairus and said to him, let's see that scripture in verse 35. While he yet spake, there came from the ruler of the synagogue's house, certain we said, thy daughter is dead. Why troublest thou the master any further? In other words, what you wanted to prevent has already happened. Why are you going after Jesus? Now, the first question to understand, or the first thing to understand is, this guy went to Jesus, he knew, Jesus understood the urgency that was, uh, you know, accompanying the visit to Jairus' house. Yet, Jesus was never in a hurry. He took his time, attended to the woman with the issue of blood, dealt with her issue, got her healed, and then now began to move to the house of Jairus. But as he was about to take a step, somebody came from the house of Jairus and said, why troublest thou the master? And that's where that scripture came from. As soon, verse 36, as soon as Jesus heard the word that was spoken, he said unto the ruler of the synagogue, be not afraid, only believe. Hmm. Why did Jesus make that statement? The environment in which your faith exists is so important. The environment of your belief is so super important that it determines what happens to your life. And that's why, listen to me, you cannot live in a fear environment and expect to have faith. You cannot wake up every day hearing fear, 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 feeding yourself with fear, fear, and expect faith to rise. It never happens. Fear is the killer of faith. So when the people from the house of Jairus came to kill the faith of Jairus, Jesus, the Bible says, as soon, immediately, he heard what was going on. He says, stop. 
Don't be afraid. Only believe. It is so important for you to protect your faith. To protect what you believe. The cheapest way to disbelieve God is to sit down with the news morning till afternoon. 20 people just died today in, in, in uh, just name one nation. 85 people were drowned. 95,000 people are going to lose their job. And uh, as you continue in that environment, you can never develop faith. Or you live with someone who always reminds you, did you hear the news today? Did you hear what they said is going to happen to Albada? Albada is going to lose 40,000 jobs. So when you hear this things, what do you say? Hold it. Just like Jesus did. As soon as he heard, he said, stop. Jairus, you are, you, I'm the one you have business with. Do not be afraid. Only believe. Only believe. And I'm going to tell you why it's so important to only believe. Why would Jesus not be in a hurry to the, go to the house of Jairus when he heard that the baby, the daughter, was sick, almost dying? Talaba haseka talaba. Jesus is the resurrection and the life. If you know him, you know life. If you have him, you have life. If you believe in him, you believe in life. Your belief is so important. Believe on what? Believe on the name of the only begotten son of God. Believe in Jesus. Believe in Jesus. Hold on to him. Keep your faith alive. Stay in an environment where faith is built. Listen to tapes. Listen to songs. Fill your house with songs of faith. Fill your house with messages. Fill your life with messages. The thing you listen to is what you become. What you regularly give or pay attention to is who you are becoming. So Jesus removed Jairus from that environment. Say no, 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 no. Get out of that environment. Just believe. Don't be afraid. Just believe. Don't be afraid. Just believe. Don't be afraid. Just believe. Why? Jesus himself is the resurrection and the life. There were certain things that Jesus did while three types of death, death that Jesus raised while he was alive. Number one was Jairus' daughter who freshly died and he got to the scene and raised her up. Why? He is the resurrection and the life. So if Jairus did not believe, that miracle would not have happened. So he took him out of that environment and said, believe. The second type of death that Jesus raised was of the son, the only son of a widow. The widow of Nain, who was about, died and was on the way to be buried. Listen, freshly dead dead maybe one or two days and they were going to bury him and he laid the hands on the bed and said get up. Why? His master over life and death. So if you believe in Jesus, nothing dies around your life. Nothing dies in your career. Nothing dies in you as you believe in him. And the third type of dead was Lazarus. Dead for days buried, stinking to show that his master over life and death. So Jairus' daughter, freshly dead, the widow of nine son died on the way to be buried. He intercepted it and said, no, no, come back to life. And then Lazarus, dead, buried, stinking for days to show his mastery over life. Now can I let you know Jesus is master over life and death. He said, a time is coming when the dead will hear my voice and they will respond. And that was what happened in the case of Jairus. So the key to that lifestyle in the supernatural, where nothing dies around you, is to believe. Believe what? And that's what I'm going to talk about. Why is your belief 
so important. Ask your neighbor why is your belief so important. Number one, your belief is the source of empowerment to become a son of God. Your belief is what? Is the source of empowerment to move from son of man to son of God. When you were first born, you were born into the family you belong to right now. But when you believe, according to John chapter 1 verse 12, look at what it says. John chapter 1 verse 12. Let's read together. But as many as received him, he gave to them power. Say power. Power to do what? To become the sons of God. Even to them that believe on his name. So your belief is what turns you from a son of man to a son of God. And what is the implication of being a son of God? You become like God. The son of a goat is a what? The son of a chicken is a what? The son of a God, what should it be? I, I, that sound, it sounds as if it's not in English, book. Eh? son of a chicken is a chicken. <laughs> I, I really needed you to understand. <laughs> So if the son of a goat is a goat, a son of a lion is a lion, who is, should be the son, a son of God be? A God. That's why it says you have the power to become a son of God when you believe. When you believe on the name of Jesus Christ, it gives you power to become the son of God. It's a transaction that happened in the spirit realm. It empowers you. It changes you. From the son of man, from the fearful one, to an unfearful child of God on fire for him. Representing God on the earth. Representing God on the earth. Why is your belief so important? Number two reason. It gives you a slice of eternity. A slice of what? Eternity, the eternal life, the God kind of life. John chapter 3, verse 16, very popular scripture. Let's read it together. For God so loved the world that he gave what? His only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have what? Everlasting life. You need to understand the component of everlasting life. It's an eternal life. The God kind of life, living like God lives in heaven on the earth. It puts you into that class of God. It takes you from being a man that is fearful, that hears everything and is scared, to a life that looks like the life of God, representing God on the earth. That is what eternal life is. It gives you a taste of eternity. Let me give you an idea of, of what that is. God took a man called Moses into eternity for 40 days. He took him and gave him a slice of eternal life for 40 days. Over the 40 days, Moses saw, yes, God rewinded and took him to the beginning. When Moses was writing in Genesis 1-1 that in the beginning God created the heaven and earth, he was not even born. His generations were not born. But God took him into that eternity and showed him this was how, this is how it was at the beginning. And then he took him to the days of Abraham. He took him to the days of Joseph and Jacob and all of that and brought him up unto the time that he delivered his people out of the Red Sea. It was Moses that wrote all of those scriptures while he was not there. Why? Eternity was playing on his mind. Now, if you live the eternal life, you are not just an ordinary man. It puts God into you and it puts you into God. That's what eternal life means. Couple of things to note about eternal life. Eternal life is God's life embodied in Christ. 
given to all believers as a guarantee of the life that will live in heaven. So there is eternity in you. That spirit man that is in you, the moment you believe, it comes up in faith. It resists the power. It's strengthened and made very strong such that you are not afraid to die. You are not afraid of the things that, that make others afraid. You don't live like do others. Let me let you know the natural man is food for the devil. As long as you remain a natural man, you were born once. When your father and mother gave back to you and put you in that family, you were born once. But when you receive Jesus and receive that name, it changes your status. It moves you away from the status of a man to the status of a God and places you in eternity. That is a slice of eternal life. And what is that doing? It is showing you a sample of the life that we will live forever and ever and ever and ever and ever with Jesus. Somebody needs to make that move this morning to say, I want to believe God for that second birth that will change my status forever. Hallelujah. Eternal life. In eternal life, there is no death. There is no sickness. Sickness cannot hold this body down. It cannot. When it comes on you and it holds you, it loses its grip. The moment you realize and say, no, you cannot stay in this body. This body has been redeemed by the Lord. Jesus died for this body. Jesus gave his all to redeem my body. So sickness, what are you doing here? Whatever you cannot find in Christ should never be found in you. When Jesus was on earth, could they say that Jesus had pneumonia? When Jesus was on earth, could they say that Jesus had cancer? When Jesus was on earth, did he ever, was he ever involved in any accident? That is the realm of an ordinary man. So rise up. Wake up. Take your eternity status that Jesus gave to you. Use what he has given you. Rise up in the spirit. Believe on the name of the, of the Son of God. Believe in him. As many as receive him, he gave them power to become the sons of God. Change of status. All this, I down today, down tomorrow, I need encouragement. You need encouragement from everybody. Everybody needs to encourage you to wake up, to do, to be a child of God, to come to church. You need encouragement to be asked to wake up in the morning. Stops. The eternity status comes up in you and turns you from an ordinary man to a God. Psalm 82, 5 to 7 says, I have said, ye are gods, all of you, children of the Most High. Say, I'm a God. Tell your neighbor, I am a God. Tell him, I carry the image of God on the inside of me. Tell another person, God lives in me. That's eternity. That's what Jesus did. That's why he went through the pain. He died on the cross to bring you to that status. So wake up and take what is given to you and use it. Why is your belief so important? Number three. <laughs> this will blow your mind. This will blow your mind. It puts you in the same class with God. Some are looking at me. Mm, Pastor, are you very sure? You mean I'm a God? Let me show you this scripture. Luke chapter 1 verse 37. Let's read together. For with God nothing shall be impossible. So with God, nothing shall be impossible. Mark chapter 10, verse 27. Let's read together. And Jesus looking upon said, With men it is impossible, but not with God. For with God all things are possible. So God really lives in the realm of what? All possibility. But there is another catch to it. Mark 9:23. Let's read this together. Jesus said, If thou canst believe, read that again. If thou canst, 
the second time. If thou canst believe, a third time. If thou canst believe, what happens? All things are possible to him that what? Believe it. So, God lives in a world of all possibilities. There is another person who lives in a world of all possibilities. Who is that person? The one who believes. The one who believes. What do you believe? Have you believed in Jesus? What's your faith? What are you standing on? What are you standing on? What are you standing on? It puts you in exact same class with God where all things are possible for you. That's what your belief does for you. It puts you in a class of God. Let me show this and we'll rise up to pray right now. This last part. Holy Spirit, help me communicate this. Now listen. <laughs> the day a man takes a step to believe, war is declared in hell. The day a man takes a step to say, I believe in Jesus, all hell will let loose. Satan would rather keep a man in ignorance, not knowing what God has done for him, not believing in the name of Jesus. Don't believe. Why do you go to that? Why do you go to church? Don't go to church. Don't go to church. I don't, don't, don't hear the word of God. Don't play Christian song. Just don't believe. Just listen to the news. And he tries to push people away from believing. Why? The day you believe, hell is let loose. He knows you are going to go away from him. He knows you begin to torment him. He knows you begin to know the things that have been given to you. He knows there's a change of status for you that begins to move you like a god on the earth and begin to destroy all the works of the devil. So he lets all let hell loose and say, no, I must fight this. Let me more shapahate. Listen, for every new level, there's a new devil. The day you give your heart to Jesus, the enemy, the devil will say, ah, enough. I think this man has too much freedom. Mm, what were you looking at that you allowed him to go to church to hear the word of God? What were you looking at that you allow her to read the Bible? What were you looking at that you allow her to pray? And he punishes his people. Why? Because your belief, there is power in your belief. When you believe in Jesus, it turns you from a man to a God. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 3 to 4. Let's see what happens to those who don't believe. He said, but if our gospel is he, it is he to them that are lost. Read the last part with me. In whom the God of this world has blinded the minds of them which believe not. Not Lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine on them. That's why all hell is let loose when you begin to go to church. That's why I ask so many people today, mm, I really don't go to church. I'm not a church person. The person say, I'm already dead. That's what they say. I'm already dead. Satan would rather have you on Sunday morning, go to the club, drink, just drive around, just mess around a little bit. He would rather have you doing that than allow you to go to church. And that's where you rise up and say, no, I am going to church. I'm going to my father's house. I must be in church. I must hear the word of God. I must study the scripture. I must pray. I must pray in the spirit. That's how your belief is built up. Faith cometh by hearing. And what? Hearing by the word of God. So what you are hearing right now, that's what Jesus said. He said, the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Somebody is catching a fire from this message this morning. Somebody is moving from their old status to the new status this morning. Somebody is taking the step to believe in Jesus this morning and be empowered to become a son of God and begin to torment the gate of hell. In the name of Jesus. If that's you, jump on your feet this morning and shout, that's me. I believe. I believe in Jesus. I believe in the name of Jesus. As the Son of God, I believe. I believe. I believe. 
I believe. I believe. Now, I want to pray for some set of people this morning. You want to take the step. You have been born once into your family on the earth. Now you need to be born into the family of heaven. You need to become a child of God. You need the fire of God to begin to burn in your soul. You need to begin to tread in that region of the supernatural. All eyes closed, all heads bowed. You want me to pray that prayer with you this morning? It's a simple prayer to believe in Jesus. So say, Jesus, I want you to be the Lord of my life. I believe you died and raised, you were raised up so that I can be saved. If you are in that category, wherever you are, just shoot your hand up a little bit. Let me see you wherever. I'm going to pray for you. Yes, thank you. Thank you for those hands. Thank you for those hands. Thank you for those hands. Thank you. If you're upstairs, I want to see your hands up. You want me to pray with you and agree with you that a slice of eternity will be deposited in you this morning. That the power of heaven that turns an ordinary man to a son of God will be deposited in you wherever you are. Just raise that hands up a little bit. Yes, I can see handsome hands upstairs. Yes, Sandy Maha, take La Prekataba. Just raise that hand above your head upstairs wherever you are. I'm going to be praying for you. I see a couple hands. Yes, about a few hands upstairs and a couple of hands here. Now, in the name of Jesus, say this prayer with me. Heavenly Father, this morning I heard your word. I believe in you, Jesus, as the Son of God. This morning, forgive my sins. Make me your child. From today, help me live for you. Give me a taste of eternity as I believe in your name this morning. Thank you, Jesus for saving me, for healing me in Jesus' precious name. To God alone be all the glory. Yes, I see those beautiful hands. The Lord, just keep those hands up. I'm going to stretch my hands towards you now. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for these hands that are lifted up. Upstairs and downstairs, every hand that is lifted up, I decree the power of God. Zahatebo Shahate enters into you right now. A taste of eternity begins to well up in you. From today, you will no longer be an ordinary man. The power of God to live as a son of God, as a daughter of Zion, enters into you. And you will live to the glory of God in the name of Jesus. Strengthened from within and without the power of God of holding you in the name of Jesus. I cut you off from every negative influence, every negative environment that brings down your faith. I cut you off from it in the name of Jesus. And I decree empowerment from heaven for you right now in the name of Jesus be empowered say I'm empowered be empowered say I'm empowered be empowered I'm empowered in the name of Jesus so shall it be we thank you father we give you praise and glory bless be your name forevermore in Jesus precious name we have prayed amen and then put those hands together appreciate God give God all the glory now one quick word before you go so what do you do to that belief protect it protect it stay in an environment where your faith will be built stay in a build faith building environment stay in a faith building environment come to church study the word be at the bible study be at the prayer meeting Make yourselves available to God. And as you make yourself available, He will use you. And very shortly, you will notice that change in your spirit. That you are now more of God than more of man. God bless you. In Jesus' precious name. Us believe in the house. I believe. I believe. Amen. Is that time in the service where we dedicate babies and we thank God for the month of August? So we shall be calling first 
the family of Bro Tabe Bisong and Sister Claudette Asek, and also the family of Bro and Sister Akam. They will come to the front. And if you want to thank God for the month of August as well, you can join them, appreciating God for what God has done. How many of us are here to testify to the faithfulness of God in our life for the month of August? So come and dance before the presence of the Lord as we invite the choir, the family of Brother Tabebi Song and Sister Claudette Asek, and also as well as Brother and Sister Akam, please, you are welcome to the front as we dedicate the babies. Please, you come along with your families and all the friends as well. All the friends and family, please come with them and let us celebrate God with them. We give you praise. We give you all the praise. Master Jesus, we give you praise. We give you praise. guys are not dancing. That's number one. Number two, please spread this way. Let's spread this way. Let's spread this way. Keep going. Just keep going. Spread this way. Spread this way. And all those who have one reason to thank God. You are thanking God for your birthday. Thanking God you got a new job. You got a promotion. Please also move to this side of the auditorium. Let's come to this side. As it's our end of the month. Thanksgiving. We are thanking God for his blessing, for his increase. Let's come to this side of the auditorium, giving thanks. Please move, move this way if you are giving thanks to God. Let's come down this way, come down the altar, come down the altar. You are thanking God for one thing or the other. Yes, please come forward. Yes, let's spread around. Let's spread around. God bless you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah.
that we invite uh, Brother Tavi Bitsong and Sister Claudette to the front, and as well as Bro and Sister Akam to the front as we invite. Oh, okay. First, let me just pray. I'll pray for the people that are doing Thanksgiving first, then we'll dedicate the babies. Let us pray. Father, in Jesus' name, our Lord and our Savior, we thank you because you are good to us. You are kind and you are wonderful. Lord, we appreciate you for the month of August. From the beginning till now, you have been faithful to us. We are here to return all the praise, all the glory, all the adoration to you because you are God and our Father. You never leave us comfortless. You comfort us every step of the way. We travel, we are here, we, we went through different things and you brought us out hale and hearty. We are here to say thank you. Lord, we, we say receive our thanks in Jesus' name. Lord, our offering of thanksgiving we present before you. We pray may it be acceptable before your presence in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Amen. Let me invite our senior pastor as we dedicate the babies. Hallelujah. Now, why do we dedicate babies? We dedicate babies because we are saying to God, you gave me this baby and I'm bringing this baby back to you so that this baby will grow in your way, will know you, will walk in the light of your word. Now, baby dedication is more of parental dedication. Baby dedication is what? More of parental baby de dedication. Now, please look at me. The reason why you are dedicating this girl and this boy, you are saying, God, you gave them to me. I want them to know you. I want this boy to know you. I want this girl to know you. So you are taking a vow before God that as long as I live, I will train this boy in the way of the Lord. I will train this girl in the way of the Lord. All children come from heaven. That was a powerful testimony. An angel appearing to you in a vision. Say, read Psalm 113. And you kept, kept reading. It was a word that spoke to you directly. Everything God does in this world is by his word. There is an injection. That's why I was saying that message. Inject your word into my spirit. When the word of heaven is injected into your spirit, you become supernatural. Only supernatural things happen to you. So you are taking a vow today and say, Lord, Sophia, angel Sophia, be song. We present to you. You are saying, Ariana, uh, Akam, and Akam, Akam, we are presenting to you so that they may know you. So it's a work of commitment. Bringing up a child in the way of the Lord is hard work. You must mirror before them what you say with your mouth. Your life and your word must be the same. They must be lined up. That's what makes the supernatural to begin to grow in them. The Bible says, train up your child in the way of the Lord. And when he is grown, he will not depart. If you depart from the house of God, they will depart, for God forbid. If you don't abide in the house of the Lord, they will not abide. I grew up knowing parents who were, my dad is a churchy man. My nephew is here, where is he? Raise your hand. He knows my, grand, my his, his, that's his grandfather. He's a very churchy man. He goes to church in the morning. He goes to, we wake up 5 a.m. every day. 5 a.m. every day. He will ring the bell. Everybody wake up. What was he doing? He was dedicating us to God. He was showing us the way to live for God. Parents, you have a responsibility. And that responsibility is to work with God. If you don't work with God, they will not work with God. That's the plain truth. If you don't mirror consistently, you are hearing me, huh? Uh -huh. she's hearing me. If you don't mirror consistently before them how to love God, they will not love God. 
So child dedication is parent dedication as well. You are dedicating yourself to God and say, Lord, I present Akam to you. Take care of him. I present Ariana to you. Take care of him. I present Sophia, angel, to you. Take care of her. And that's what God will do. And we also anoint them. The Bible speaking in Psalm 89. It said, I have found David, my servant, with my holy oil. Have I anointed him? The enemy will not exert upon him, nor the son of wickedness afflict him. I will beat down his foes. So when this anointing comes on all of these children, they become strong. Witches will see them and run. Devils will see them and go out of the door. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now I anoint you in the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. I separate you unto God for sign, for wonder. I dedicate you at the feet of Jesus and say you will live for him all the days of your life. Angel Sophia be sung in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, I dedicate you in the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, and I put this touch me not oil upon you. No wickedness is permitted to touch you. Akam, Akam, the hand of the Lord will rest upon you. You will know the Lord all the days of your life in the name of Jesus. Now, I anoint you and dedicate you to God in the name of God the Father. God the Son, God the Holy Spirit and say you will walk with the Lord you will do the will of God all the days of your life the hand of the wicked will not touch you the glory of the Lord will cover you you have found the house of the Lord today you will not depart from it in the name of Jesus and I pray for the parents this hand you will train these children everything you require from God the Lord will put in your hand to train these children in the way of the Lord. I put in your hand grace to train angel Sophia the Son unto the Lord in the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. We thank you, Heavenly Father, because you have done this to the glory of your holy name. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name, we are praying. Now, I was very lenient when you were coming. I was looking at your dance step. You were doing like this. You were doing like this. You weren't dancing well. Now, I want you to do it this way and dig it well before the Lord. Okay? You didn't dance. Ushers, don't let him go back until he has danced. Praise God. So, let's dance. Let's give glory to God and appreciate him for his goodness to us. Are you blessed this morning? Now, dance several song as the dance back, and then while you are dancing back, the ushers are all around you. You can put in your offering uh, into the, the basket. Hey, hey, my God is good, oh. Hey, hey, my God is good, oh. From the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, from verse 9 and 10. 
He says, Honor the Lord with thy substance. And with the first, please, can we have a seat in the presence of the Lord? Please. Thank you. Honor the Lord with thy substance, and with the first fruits of all thy increase. So shall thy barns be filled with plenty, and thy presses shall burst out with new wines. If you have your tithe and offering with you, can we bring it out as we lift it to God? Just please pray to God about it. Just talk to God concerning that tithe. That tell him, please. Uh, you, can, you can be on your feet. Let's be on our feet. Let's be on our feet as we lift our, our offering and our tithes to God. I want you to let God know that in accordance with your word, in obedience to your word, I'm doing this. Lord, let the devourers be rebuked for my sake. It's, it is the commandment of God. Claim it. And thank God we learned it this morning. I believe. So make your belief. Decree it. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Yes. The choir, please. By eti, by eti kosi, by eti, king of kings. By eti, by eti kosi. Let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, our Lord and our Father, we thank you for this. We pray. May it be acceptable before you in Jesus' name. Lord, as we obey your word, we pray the blessing of obeying, obeying your word. Lord, we pray will be upon every one of us in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you because you are Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Can you have a seat in the presence of the Lord? We have a very unique service today. We beg you in the name of God to just wait briefly. And uh, today, something special is happening again. Woo! We, we, we want to celebrate one of our very, 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 very old. Our Father in the Lord celebrated his birthday. Okay. So, sorry, he doesn't know about this. This is not part of the service. He doesn't know about it at all. So we want to celebrate our Father in the Lord. He, on Friday was his birthday. And today, we want to celebrate this man of God. This is our Father. That's what I say. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday.
we, our Father and the Lord will be cutting this cake. cutting this wonderful cake. Uh, uh. <laughs> wow. Anointed and blessed. Wow. Uh, okay. And uh, we'll be spelling J so, Jesus. We'll can be spelling I, J can, I have one request. All those born in the month of August, please come and join me too. All the saints of God. All the saints of God. Yes. Can you see the people born in August now? <laughs> oh, you have your own cake. That there's a separate cake for yes, those. For August. Okay, okay. But well, please stay come and hang around me. All those born in August, please hang around me. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. All those born in August, just come, just come, hang around me. Whether young or old, please hang around me. All. Rose born in August. Hallelujah. Woo! Look at the powerful people born in August. Please come around me. <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay. J. Let's spell it together now. J. E. E. S. Dedicated to our Father and the Lord.
Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Um, this, this is a special one for all of us men. Um, we want to thank our Father in the Lord for your dedication. We want to thank you for uh, leading us men and being an inspiration to each and every one of us. We want to give you this little token of appreciation for all that you are doing for all the men. Please, I would like all the men to rise up as we present to our Father in the Lord this special token from all the men of Joy Overflow International Church. Thank you very much, sir, for all you do. God bless you. Happy birthday, sir. The women president, please. Sister Femi. God for your life. We want to thank God for the blessings and the gifts upon your life. You know, when God calls the pastor as a ministry gift, he says that a pastor should, should make sure their flock, their flock have spiritual growth and also lead them in the way of life. Pastor, that's what you have been doing for us. Day in, day out, you bring the word of God to us. You teach us, you bless us, and we run with those words. Father, we um, pastor today, we are saying that we love you. We are saying happy birthday from every single one of us here and all your children all over the globe. We are saying a happy birthday to you. And this is a very little token for us to appreciate you, sir. Happy birthday. Wow. And now we have from the young adults, the young adults want to wish you a happy birthday. Pastor, we love you. A woman of God said something that stuck in my mind. She said, if you want to have an idea of how much God loves you, look out for the pastors that he gives you. And I think that we can all make bold to say that our pastor is a blessing to each and every one of us. And this is from the young adults of Joy Overflow International Church to our pastor. I'll try to read it out as fast as possible. We're here to tell you a story, but unlike many stories, this is about a legend, a husband, a father, a brother, an uncle, and most importantly, our pastor, our shepherd, Pastor Sonny Adeniyi, is a resident pastor at Joy Overflow International Church. But of course, you knew that already. Why don't we try something different? He loves riding bikes, cycling, and is married to a gorgeous woman. Did you also know that? Okay, maybe we should change the narrative a little bit. Things that we love about our pastor. He's a very caring dad. He talks the talk and he walks the walk. He's selfless, he's prayerful, he seeks the best in people. Can I let you know, his energy is contagious, always full of enthusiasm, always willing to help. Such a breath of fresh air. Pastor, we love you. May the favor of the Lord our God rest on you. May he establish the works of your hands. May the Lord bless and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. Thank you so much for being awesome. Thank you for loving us the way you do. We see all that you do and we appreciate you. Happy birthday, Pastor Sonny Adeni. Wow. Happy birthday, sir. So we have a little token for you. God bless you, sir. Thank you. Amen. Thank Amen. You, sir. Whoa. Oh, Praise the Lord. Save the best for last. <laughs> um, Daddy, this is on behalf of the protocol department. Wow. Amen. We want to appreciate you and tell you how much we love you. You are a father to many nations, and we bless God for your life. We bless God for mommy, for all that he has used you to do. May he continue to equip you and give you grace sufficient in this next year. 
and may he take you deeper and deeper in the knowledge and in the word of God in Jesus name happy birthday daddy wow thank you wow thank you so much oh my god I thought I was the one that was going to daze everybody now you guys dazed me I'm totally just I, I really want to say thank you God bless you is that all Sorry, there's still one, one more to go. <laughs> Maras, please, can you pause? There's a video for you, sir. Today, we celebrate a great man of God. Today, we celebrate a spirit-filled man. Today, we celebrate the good shepherd, the ever-amazing, ever-caring shepherd that God has given to us here on earth. Today, we celebrate you, Pastor Sonny Adeniyi. We thank God for, our, for your life. We thank God for the word that you bring in day in, day out. We thank God for the gifts in your life. We thank God for everything about you. We thank God for leading Joe Buffalo International Church to where it is and where it will be. On behalf of the entire fellowship, the Women Fellowship, and Joe Buffalo International Church and your children all over the world, we are saying a very big happy birthday to you. And as we pray for you today, we pray that you are let out in joy and you go out in peace. We pray that the hills and the mountains will burst out in singing for you. The trees of the field shall clap their hands for you. You shall be celebrated. The world will know your name. The world already knows your name. We will continue to know your name. We'll con the world will continue to celebrate you in Jesus' mighty name. On behalf of each and every one of us, I say a very happy birthday to you, sir, and we love you. Amen. Special birthday greetings to Pastor. Pastor, you are loved. May the light of the Lord fill your heart as you are celebrated today. Your guidance lights the ways for so many on the journeys of faith. May God bless you and keep you always. Happy birthday to a special pastor. Amen. Joyeux anniversaire. Joyeux anniversaire. Joyeux anniversaire, Pastor Sanim. Joyeux anniversaire. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Papa Sani. Happy birthday to you. Je vous souhaite que du bonheur, tout le meilleur, longévité, prospérité, richesse, élévation au nom de Jésus. Que notre Dieu continue encore de vous protéger, de vous garder au nom de Jésus. Amen. Wow, my name is Betty Brown. Today is a special day for a special man of God, the Apostle of Joy Overflow International, Canada. Daddy. We love you. You have been a blessing to every one of us. As you add one plus one to your year, we wish you long life. We wish you good health. We wish you everything that is good. And we pray that God will grant you the very desire, your heart desire. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Papa Sonny Adonai. We love you. Mm. Hi, it's me, Medora. <laughs> Happy birthday, Pastor Sonny. I wish you many more years. And I wish you blessings upon blessings. And I thank you so, so much for everything that you are doing for us in this church. I thank you so much for, uh, I thank you and God for continuing to strengthen your faith to help us walk in God's light. I thank you for everything that, that you are doing in our lives, your blessing. And I pray that God continues to bless you abundantly. Amen. <laughs> Okay, Pastor Sonny, it's your birthday. This is Philomena. I just want to wish you a happy birthday. The Word of God says in Deuteronomy chapter 33, verse 25b, it says, As thy days, so shall thy strength be. 
May your strength continue to increase. You are adding another year to your life today. The Lord is doing it. May the Lord's work continue to increase you, improve you, your family, your household. May your lineage, generations yet unborn, may they praise you. May they honor the name of the Lord in, in your life in Jesus. Now, I just want to wish you a happy birthday. Mama Betty just sang happy birthday. She stole my song. So I'm going to sing it again. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. We are saying we love you. God be with you till the end of time. We are saying well done. We are saying well done. Happy birthday, Pastor. We are saying well done. Heaven is saying well done. You have been amazing. You have been a father, a teacher, everything we could ask for, a spiritual father and more. On this day, we say happy birthday. May God bless you, continue to keep you for us, preserve you, and grant you all your heart's desires. And as we always say, there shall be no loss no pain and no shame for you in Jesus name. Amen. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Pastor, happy birthday to you. Well done, full, good and faithful servant. You're amazing. You're a wonderful father. And today we celebrate you. We want to say happy, happy birthday. On behalf of every member of Joy Overflow International Church, we say happy, happy birthday. May God bless you richly, continue to empower you, give you more wisdom and understanding. Happy, happy birthday, Pastor Sonny. God bless you. Hello, our uh, amiable Pastor Sonny. Happy, happy, happy birthday to you. I pray for you today that the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift you up in his countenance upon you and give you peace. I pray that this day is the least you will ever see in your life. You will go from glory to glory, from honor to honor. We more money, mm -hmm, plenty of it. And above all, grant you more wisdom to grow in this knowledge and this wisdom and also to grow people to the, um, to the knowledge of Christ. Happy birthday, sir. We love you. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Happy birthday, daddy, papa, sonny, our beloved pastor. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. How old are you now? How old are you now? How old are you now, Papa? How old are you now? Woo! You are a young man today. You are a young man today. You are a young man, you are a young man. You are a young man today. Praise the Lord. Papa, happy birthday. We thank God for your life. We wish you a wonderful birthday. May God give you power. May God give you courage. May God give you knowledge and wisdom to continue to propagate the gospel of Jesus Christ as you bring us up as children of God. You are anointed. We love you. We love you, Papa. Enjoy your day. It's a beautiful birthday, a glorious one in the name of Jesus. Have a blessed day. Have fun, Papa. We love you. Remain blessed forever and ever and ever in Jesus' name. Amen. Happy birthday. Praise the Lord. It is a day that the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Today, I celebrate you, my father, my daddy, senior pastor, Pastor Sonny Adeni. Today, we all come to celebrate another year that God has blessed you with. And I pray as you enter into this next year, may the grace of the Lord continue to flow marvelously upon your lives. May He continue to open doors. May He take you deeper and deeper in the knowledge of Christ. And may He continue to surround you with His love and comfort in all that you do in Jesus' name. Once again, happy, happy, happy birthday. And may God continue to bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Happy birthday, Pastor Sonny. Today is a special day for you. 
we are Joy of Affair International Church. We want to say happy birthday. You are the greatest pastor. Um, I, I, I highly esteem the presence of God upon your life. You are a blessing not, to, not only to this generation, but to the next generation. I pray that the anointing, as you grow older, may, the, may you have an increase in faith and stature. I pray that the oil of anointing over your head will never go run dry. Happy birthday, Pastor. You do such an amazing work here in Joy of Afro International Church. And we appreciate all that you do, the love, the care that you show to all joyful celebrants. May God continue to bless you. May God continue to prosper you. May God continue to nourish you. And may you grow healthy, stronger. And may we celebrate you all till 120 years. Pastor, we love you. Mwah. Love you, Pastor. Happy birthday. Birthday to you, Daddy. Yeah. We wish you many more years. Uh, and God's richest blessings. And God will continue to enlarge your territory. We we'll love you. And then I'm just going to sing this little song for you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. God bless you and we love you. God bless, take care. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Pastor Sonny. Happy birthday to you. We love you, Pastor Sonny. Wishing you many more years to come. God bless. Happy birthday We are saying we love you God be with you till the end of time We are saying we can To Pastor Sonny Happy birthday I pray the Lord will continue to increase you on every side and prosper you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Happy birthday, Pastor Sonny, God's general, the tree of righteousness in the house of God. Thank you for producing the fruits for the nations to eat. Happy birthday to you. We are so glad on this day of your birthday. We pray that you will spend your days in peace and your years in pleasures. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Everybody say happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Pastor. It's been so wonderful knowing you and your wife. You have been a blessing to us as a family and we appreciate and love you so much. We only pray that your ministry will continue to be a blessing to this generation and the next generation in Jesus' name. Amen. We love you, Pastor. Thank you for being who you are. Thank you for being the father you've been to the congregation. We have felt your love. Um, I recall you and Pastor Mrs. showing forth at the hospital when you were most needed some years ago, around 3 a.m. We thank you. We can't forget that heart of kindness. We pray that God will Happy birthday, Pastor. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Pastor Sonny. Happy birthday to you. Hallelujah, man of God. We, we have to do this specially just to celebrate you. You are not one person that uh, will have to celebrate when you can't hear us. We thank God for your life. It's another year gone by. God has helped you, sir, and he will help you much more. Um, I, I, I rejoice with the entire Joy Overflow family and yourself. I thank the Lord for your consistency. 
and your devotion um, to the cause of Christ put into your hands. My prayer for you today is very simple, that the Lord God Almighty will help you. The help of the Lord will continue to make ways for you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you have laid your hand on the plow. There is no option. You are not looking back. In Jesus' mighty name. Uh, you, you and I know that as long as we are in this flesh, there is still another height to attain. I pray in the name of Jesus, sir, you will continue to grow. In Jesus' mighty name. God Almighty will help everything that needed to be helped with you. In Jesus' name. This new year, it shall be a new year of many rejoicings and many song singings. And many dancings in the name of Jesus Christ. God Almighty will further your cause. He will sustain you. He will help you in Jesus' mighty name. I pray. He will soak your hands in milk and your feet in butter. Your God Almighty will uphold everything that needed to be upheld in your life. In Jesus' mighty name, sir. I do pray, finally, that God will smile on you. He will look at you and find delight in sunny. In Jesus' mighty name. Your life, your work, your activities will bring delight to our Father. In Jesus' name. And you finish this race better than you started it. In Jesus' name, God will cause, give a reason for all of us to come to Calgary. Come in that church, everyone from the globe to come and celebrate and rejoice with you. In Jesus' name. Happy New Year um, again, my, my brother. And um, it will be a year of many rejoicings. I just heard that in my heart now. Many rejoicings in Jesus' name. Thrive. Keep thriving, man of God. God bless you, sir. Happy, happy birthday, Pastor. God bless you, sir. As yes. your days are, so shall your strength be. Amen. And I was asking the Holy Spirit, what shall I say to you? And he just said, just as his name is, he shall continually shine brighter and Amen. brighter, even unto the perfect day. We Amen. pray for you, sir, that the Lord will increase you and expand your coast. You will be Amen. a treasure even unto the Lord all the days of your life. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. God bless you. Uh, yes, and we say amen to that. And happy birthday to you, Pastor Sonny. And just as Pastor B said, we continue to pray that your road shall be sunny. You shall continue to see the light of our God shine through your life in the name of Jesus Christ. And we say, amen. God bless you, sir. We miss you. And hopefully see you not too long from now in Amen. Calgary. Amen. Bye. Bye. Happy birthday, Pastor Sonny. We're wishing you a very big happy 54th birthday from Edmonton. We just want to say a big thank you to you, Pastor, for being our pastor. We are really grateful to have you for the word that you shared with us while we're in Calgary. And even till now, because we still find time to join in the morning services. It's really been a blessing to us and the entire family and we are really grateful and we are so happy for all that you do for us. We just want to say thank you and God bless you for being our pastor. We, we love, love you. you. We love you greatly and the entire family send their love. We love you, sir. Mm. <laughs> happy birthday, Pastor Sonny Adeni. God bless you, sir. This is the day that the Lord has made and we definitely rejoice and be glad in it. I want to thank God for your life. You have been a tremendous blessing, not just to me and my family, but to the house of, a, house of faith. We thank God for your love, your dedication, your sacrifice, your humility, your faith, your strength. You are a shining example of a true leader in God's army. And we celebrate it today as you mark yet another day ye added to your life. The Lord will increase the number of your days. He will make his face shine upon you. He will give you the desires of your heart. He will increase you in strength, in anointing, in wealth, in health, in every aspect of your life. Daddy, you are blessed. As you have been a blessing to us. So shall you continue to enjoy God's blessing. You will not labor and another man reap. You will labor and you will live long to eat the fruit of your labor. Happy birthday, Daddy, and God bless you. On behalf of me and my family, this is it. Simply Gabriel. Stay blessed and enjoy your day. Bye, sir.
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hooray, 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 hooray. Congratulations, Pastor Sani Adeni. Thank God for your life and for bringing you to yet another year. It is a season of celebration for you. We give God all the glory. Now we are trusting the Lord that this new year opens a new threshold for you, enlarging your coast, establishing your ministry, giving you a voice greater than usual, making the sound of your voice heard all over the city where you dwell and the nation where God planted you. The Lord will rise, raise you up as a star among your equals and establish your dominion in life. Good health, sanctity and sanity all over you. Be blessed of the Lord. Enjoy your day in Jesus' name. Amen. Happy, happy birthday to you. Glory, hallelujah. A very happy birthday to my beloved bosom friend, Pastor Sonny Adenei. Congratulations and I bless God for his faithfulness over you and your beloved Mama Fuller over these years. The Lord bless your new year. And I thank God for his calling over you. Even as you celebrate this new year and make this prophetic declaration over you, as in Psalms 3 verse 3, which says, Thou, O Lord, as a shield for me, the glory and the lift out of all my head. I pray that the Lord Jehovah God will shield you from every arsenal of men and of the devils. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray, Jehovah King of glory, Lord, you will cause a new wave of glory over you. And the calling he has upon you in Jesus name the lifter of men will lift you up in Jesus name Psalms 23 verse 5 day it says that thou anointed my head with oil my cup runneth over I pray in the name of Jesus a fresh anointing for super abundant overflow will rest upon you in Jesus name and as the Lord confirm his word with signs following in Mark 16 verse 20 that will be the hallmark of your ministry in the name of jesus congratulations god bless you have a wonderful um fruitful year in jesus name amen hey happy birthday to my one and only mentor to my father physically spiritually i want to really use the opportunity to wish you long life and prosperity as god has ordained for you the path that you have created for people like me and I'm sure many others we are still walking there your voice rings in my ears every day the things you've told me as a young boy and I'm enjoying it I have your kitten and Prince who wish you happy birthday happy birthday yeah one of wish grandpa happy birthday happy birthday grandpa happy birthday grandpa Thank you, happy birthday. Thank you for teaching daddy as a little boy. Thank you for teaching dad as a little boy. Happy birthday, sir. We'll give you a call soon. Thank you very much. Please happy have 10 more minutes, please. To Thank you. you all. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Pastor Sunday Adeniye. I celebrate God's faithfulness upon your life and I thank God for what God is doing through you in Calgary and the whole Canada. May the Lord keep you strong. May the Lord empower you. May the Lord keep you focused concerning that which he has called you to do. You will not faint in the days of adversity. Your strength will never diminish. I celebrate you. On behalf of me and my wife and my household and the whole entire Greenland family in Nigeria, in Abuja, I join the Joy Overflow Ministry in Calgary to celebrate you. May the Lord keep you strong in Jesus' mighty name. God bless you, sir. Amen. Pastor, happy birthday to you, sir. I want to use this privilege to show appreciation for all your care and your wonderful impact in our lives. My life personally, you have impacted me and also my family. You have been there for us all this while. 
Eight years ago when we came, we are one of those people the Lord used to give us a good footing. I will never forget your labor of love in my life, and I believe the God of glory who has called you into his fire will continue to enrich you. Your vision will be sharper on a daily basis. You will yet be a blessing to many generations of God. On behalf of myself and my family, we say a wonderful, happy birthday to you, Pastor. May you live to see your children's children in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, good morning. My name is Shola Odineye. I am Papa Sonny's son, Pastor Sonia Adini. We usually call him Papa Sonny when he was here in Nigeria. I'm wishing you a very wonderful, happy birthday. You've been a blessing to us, whether present physically or not. We learn from you every day, not just every Sunday. We're online with you those times that we're not online physically. We are, we go back to check and all that. You've really been such a wonderful blessing. Yourself and mommy fully. God bless you. God bless you. God will continue to increase you. God will continue to enlarge you. God will continue to expand you. God will not hide his face from you. The grace that he has given you to be able to glean from his presence and to be able to share with us. God will continue to increase it in the name of Jesus. His doors will not shut against you. The heavens will be opened over you continually. The Lord will continue to anoint you afresh. You will increase. You will grow. You will expand. You are blessed. And your blessing, just like the oil at the head of Aaron that, that flowed down, just as you are blessed, we are all blessed in the name of Jesus. We will not take for granted what God has put upon your life, the, 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 the hand of God upon your life. And we are saying, we are uh, tapping into it on behalf of myself and my family and the wonderful four grandchildren that you have through me. God bless you. God increase you. Happy birthday, Dad. Mommy Foley, you are the best. God bless you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Preston. Happy birthday to you. May the good Lord bless you. May the good Lord bless you. May the good Lord bless you, Pastor. May the good Lord bless you. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Birthday, Pastor. We love we you. We love you. We bless God for your name. Amen. We thank God for your life. We give Amen. God all the glory Amen. concerning you. Amen. You, will, you will not die but live to proclaim his name. Amen. You will not be weary, you will not be sick. Amen. The hands of the Lord will perpetually be upon you. Amen. The Lord will continually do new things in your life. Lines Amen. will fall upon you in plenty of places. Amen. God bless you, Pastor. We love you. We love, we love you. you. Happy birthday. Happy Bye. birthday. Bye. Love you. Bye. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Congratulations, our beloved Pastor. Sunday at Deniyi. This is congratulations coming from Reverend and Reverend Mrs. Meidoye from Nigeria. We want to especially thank God for your life, our dear brother. We have known you when you were quite young, and we have seen you grow over the years. To God be the glory. We have also seen how, indeed, in your life you have shown Christ to be very, very clear to the world. And you have consistently followed him. And your life has drawn so many to Christ. And we know that indeed all your family members came to Christ through the shining light of your life. To God be the glory. And God has not finished with you. You have come all the way. Today you are the pastor of a church in Canada. To God be the glory. I can assure you. God has not finished with you. You are still going. And we bless God for this new year of your life. As you increase in the number of years, so shall your strength be. We pray here for you.
that with long life God will satisfy Amen. you in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. The Lord will not allow the enemy to cut your life Amen. short. The number of your days you will fulfill Amen. in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Amen. Christ. In the ministry, you will continue to enlarge. Amen. God will strengthen you Amen. and all the resources needed for all that you are doing will be available to you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We give glory to God for your life. Amen. We pray God will bless your family, Amen. bless your wife and everyone one with you. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Wow. Where do I start from? Thank you so much. Please be seated. I want to say a big thank you. This is the last thing I expected. I didn't think about this. And nobody told, and none of you could just hint me and give me a hint that, Pastor, we are going to do this today. And I want to say very, very big thank you for the creativity for every one of you for the wishes, for the wonderful presentations, for the gifts, the Lord God of heaven will bless you. And I say he will reward you abundantly. In the name of Jesus. What such things does to anyone is to say, well, I didn't know I was doing some things right. I thought everything I was doing was wrong. But to have people come to say they are impacted they are blessed. And that's across all the globe. That was my first pastor, Reverend Medui, the general overseer of Four Square Gospel Church in Nigeria. The immediate past general overseer. That was my very first pastor. The one I, that I held hands with. If you've heard my testimony before, 
I, was, I held hands with him and prayed the entire family to Jesus. This was at the age of 17, 18, and I, I go to him and say, Pastor, my family needs to know Jesus. And we hold hands together. He said, don't worry. Three years we were in that prayer. And one day, my father said, we are going to your church today. I give God all the glory for all of that. And I thank God for your lives. Thank God for the little impacts here and there that God is making in your life. It is my prayer that you haven't seen anything yet. I'm prophesying to you. You haven't seen anything yet. You are going places. The heavens are opened over you. Heaven will smile on you. The glory of the Lord will rest upon you. Mama and I will not rest until we see you in the place that God has designed for you. Everything that God has designed for you on this planet, you will fulfill. You shall die empty. You will empty yourself upon the world. The gifts and the callings and everything that the Lord has put in you, you won't take anyone to heaven. They are not needed in heaven. They are needed here. Somebody needs to be impacted by the book you are writing. Somebody needs to be impacted by a word that you are saying. Somebody needs to be impacted by the work of your hand. That business in you, the Lord will bring it out. The glory of the Lord will cover you. All the days of your life, you will be celebrated. You are blessed in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> wow, I'm tired. You know why I'm tired? <laughs> I'm just tired by all of these things that you guys did. And I want to say thank you. That's the best I could say. Thank you. 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 God bless you. In Jesus' name. Now, the service is really, I was thinking by 11, 30, 45, by at latest we should be done. But it's a good thing we are here in the presence of the Lord. The psalmist said, a day in the house of the Lord is better than a thousand on the streets or anywhere else. So it's a good thing we are here. Now we would like to recognize those who are worshiping with us for the very first time. If this is your very first time at Joy Overflow International Church, we like to welcome you to Joy Overflow Way. Wherever you are, please rise to your feet, whether upstairs or downstairs here. Rise to your feet. We'd like to welcome you to Joy Overflow International Church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wherever they are, please rise to your feet. Some of them are upstairs. Now, my heart, we love you too. That's the way. We love you. We love you. God loves you best. Please go around and welcome them. Welcome them. Give them the Joy Overflow welcome. My name is Hate. Love you too. That's the way you be. Hallelujah. Now just remain standing because we would like to pray with you. Just remain standing wherever you are. This is your very first time. Please remain standing. Now, brethren, those of us who are around them, I hope you have welcomed them. You are welcome to Joy Overflow International Church. This is a family-friendly, covenant-based church. We were planted by the Lord. The hand of the Lord is upon us. He does great things for us. And we are confident that what he's done for us, he will do for you too. What God has done for us, he will do for you too. You will be blessed, you will be increased, you will be multiplied. The glory of the Lord will rest upon you. We are so glad to see you here today. And in case you are looking for a family church, don't miss this one. This is a family church. Any witness here? Yes, you can hear them. So please join us on Wednesdays. We meet for Bible study this coming Wednesday. And on Sundays we meet for worship service. Join us. God is really helping us, and he will help you too, in the name of Jesus Christ. May the blessing of the Lord rest upon you, his glory cover you. Now in your hand, you have been given a bag. In that bag, there is a gift for you, uh, and then there is a contact card. Please bring out the contact card in very neat 
good handwriting. Don't be in a hurry, just complete it. And in case you have a prayer request, flip the card at the back, the lower part of it. We put your prayer request there. We are a praying church. Is there any witness to that? We pray every day throughout the week and God hears those prayers. So in case you have a prayer request, please write it out there and send it, give it to us. Put your contact information. Our prayer ministers would like to keep you in our prayers and we trust God that very shortly you will become a joyful celebrant. You will be laughing every day. You see all they did to me today made me laugh and laugh and I was one. At the point I cried. You see my eyes? I cried. I said, what kind of people are these? And it's the same way. God will daze you. He will bless you. He will increase you in the name of Jesus. Let's stretch forth our hands towards them and bless them with the blessing of the house. We bless you with the blessing of heaven above. Bless you with the blessing of the breast and of the womb. We bless you with the blessing of the deep that lie under. And say, our God will bless you. He will give you of the dew of heaven and wine and corn of the earth. You are blessed, you are increased, you are promoted, established. God will be glorified in your life every day in the name of Jesus. Welcome to Joy Overflow International Church, the home of all covenants, God's covenant children in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. God bless you. Please be seated. Thank you for coming. Now, just two or three quick announcements as we shut down right now. Please remember, Wednesday is our Bible study. We're going to start a new Bible study on the parables of Jesus. The parables of Jesus. Loaded. Powerful. Brethren, those Bible studies are loaded. Please don't miss it. Be here on Wednesday. Let's study at the feet of Jesus. It is your study of the world that makes you supernatural. The more you study the world, the more supernatural you become. So let's be here on Wednesday and God's name will be glorified in your life. Remember, water baptism is coming up. If you have never been water baptized before, that's your privilege on September 12th to be water baptized. And if you have been before and you didn't really know how it was done, you have the privilege to do it again. Our membership class also is coming up on September the 12th, uh, as we heard in the announcement. All new joyful celebrants, you are please invited to attend the class and the Lord God of heaven will bless you and increase you in Jesus' name. Shall we rise up this week? Everything goes well for you. For those children who are dedicated today, the hand of the Lord will rest upon them. The glory of the Lord will cover them. And their parents, their friends, families and well-wishers who came with them, the blessing of the Lord will rest upon you. Every good thing of life will be your own portion. Say a loud amen. Every good thing of life shall be your portion. You are blessed and increased and the glory of God covers you in the name of Jesus. This week a miracle awaits you. I said this week a miracle awaits you. This week a miracle awaits you. You are blessed, increased and promoted in the name of Jesus. As you go, the hand of the Lord will rest upon you. From where you least expected, blessing will pursue and overtake you. In the name of Jesus, so shall it be. In Jesus' precious name, we are praying. Immediately after the service, all those born in the month of August, please come. This is your cake. We need to cut this thing. It looks so good and yummy. I can almost be salivating on this thing. Let's cut it and eat this cake. God bless you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Shall we together with Jesus joy, shall we share the covenant? God will show me the part of life. For in his presence is the fullness of my joy. And at his right hand are my pleasures forevermore. Peace, love, and joy. Turn to your neighbors to share with them. My glory is here. No loss, no pain, no shame. Turn to somebody else and reassure them. My glory is here. No loss. No pain, no shame. Hold it before we take our family song. Please, we're going to have pictures. Let's just give today to Jesus. Amen? Let's take pictures. I love the attires you guys are wearing. I like to take pictures with you. So immediately after now, after the cutting of the birthday cake, we start taking pictures. The Lord, so we can have a memory of this day. God bless you. Shall we take our family song? Joy overflows in my heart. Sing a new song to the Lord. Joy overflows in my heart. Sing a new 
Just yes. 